One minute I was wittering on to Liz about Amy's violin, and the next, Tony drops his bombshell on me. What am I going to do? Well, not to sound glib or anything, but it's kind of what I want. Yeah, but not like this. Well, I haven't got the money. Well, if the six grand's not there, he can't have it. Simple as that. Well, there's a little bit in the account, but... How much? Three grand, four tops, but that's the flow. I need that to keep the business ticking over. It can't have that. I'd love to help you, but this divorce is... It's OK. What about your dad? Oh, he won't give it to me. I've asked him before. No, pawnbroking is worse than mugging old ladies in his book. Wow, well, these things often have a way of working themselves out. Why now, though? And you've got Christmas coming up. That's always a busy time. It's Liz. Well, she walked past the shop this morning and his whole face lit up. Well, that doesn't exactly prove anything. Oh, look, I know him like the back of my hand. And she hates my guts. Now, if he's still got the hots for her, which I bet that he has, she's put him up to this. I thought I might nip out for an hour, if that's OK. Yeah, fine. Nip you on first. What have I told you? Um, you put him up to it, didn't you? Sorry, am I expected to understand that? You are the reason Tony is pulling the plug on Barlow's buys. Oh, now you really have taken leave of your senses. Oh, come off it. Just I don't know what you're going on about. Well, I saw him. Smile at you when you walk past the shop this morning. I very much doubt that. And the next thing I know, he's pulling out and he wants his money back. News to me. He still wants you, so you told him to do it. Tracy, this is the balmiest thing you've ever said in your life. After what he did to me, I wouldn't go near him if he were rich as Donald Trump. Right. So, you're denying it? Yes. Now, if you don't mind, I've got a business to run. Uh, even if you haven't. I've heard it all now. So what have you got to do? Write about your perfect. Got any better ideas? Hey. Well. Listen, I've uh, I've been asking about, and uh, I can't get the money as quickly as I hoped. So when? I don't know, Tony. You're gonna have to wait. Listen, I'm not trying to mess you about. I want this as much as you do. Well, if you can't get it just yet, then you can't get it, I guess. I will do. I promise. Oh, that was wonderful. Thank you. <clears throat> well, I told her I want out. So I gather. Yeah. Well, I got the gist of it. Just to make sure, she came round this afternoon, reading the riot act, accused me of putting you up to it. She doesn't waste much time. Evil she might be. Stupid she isn't. What did you say? I denied it. Anyway, you didn't waste much time either, did you? I meant every word about wanting you back. There's only one snack. She doesn't have the money to buy me out. So what's going to happen? I'm going to clear the joint account tomorrow. It won't give me everything back, but it's a start. What that take all her money? Every last cent. Ah, I thought you'd like that. So where do we stand? I need to know exactly how I'm doing this. I need to tell Steve next. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you can do that. Well, I need to pick my moment. He really is not going to like it. So what does it matter when you do it? This week, next year, it's not going to make any difference. Yeah, but when I do it, all hell is going to break loose. And I need to make sure I'm ready for it. <laughs> 